looks just done. If anyone's watching straight away, just setting up, getting ready for part two of this. <sighs> Keeping my coffee away from the webcam this time and away from where I'm heading. Oh, God, I needed that. I'm going to be um, stopping streaming for the night at 8pm my time. It's 6.14 now. Um, I'm stopping because um, my partner will be home with the Heldrake that I'm going to get started on. So just before I continue on with what I was doing, I'm going to, yeah, yeah, I'm going to clean my brush a wee bit because I have literally been using this since about four hours. Since four hours. Nice. Uh, so I want to get the... Uh, gunk out of the recesses especially because even though I don't let the paint go near the furrow it still kind of moves up towards the furrow as time goes on. Let me just um, sort out the video. I might have to actually gently pull that out of the furrow. Um, usually if you do this for long enough, pulling the brush down, you see little bits of paint coming out, but sometimes if it's stuck, it can stay stuck for a while, sadly. Have a look. a little bit now. This is why uh, leaving your brushes overnight in this conditioner is so helpful because it really helps pull out any of the gunk you've built up from a day of painting. Especially if you have like, if you stick with the same brush for a couple of hours like I do. Probably not the best idea. Yeah, that's better. It's actually pulled quite a lot out. So if you see around where the bristles go into the metal, there's always a slightly dark line because it's where there's glue. But in my case, the problem was there was actually paint up in there, so it was blue as well. Um, you always want to keep uh, as keep that area, the ferrule, keep that um as clear of paint. Whoa as clear of paint as possible because any paint that gets up there will dry up in the where the, where the bristles are glued and the bristles are glued in so carefully to create this point that any paint that dries up there will destroy the brush it'll just flay all the pieces um while I, my coffee was um while the water for it was boiling i actually did a load of work on the head <laughs> So uh, I actually got loads done on the head on both sides, on the stripes. Still lots more to go, but um, it's nice and powerful. You can see it like, really straight as well, I'm really happy with. But it needs uh, a lot more work. But I think it looks really good. Um, so that side of the head isn't as finished as this side. So I was cheeky and I worked away. I just need a quick hit of some uh, Albus inhaler. Just gotta get my fix, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm ready for life. A little bit more coffee and we'll get started. Okay, everything's good. Coffee is away from the, the water, which is important. So um, where I left off, 
first was it's really coming together now um so that's where i left off the striping on the entire lower half is done it was agony but it's done the upper half is still a work in progress there's actually only about a quarter of it is done with the striping you can see more is on the back um, so the final look is getting there the back still has quite a bit to go so take that off okay I still have quite a lot of the uh, paint mix I'm using left over as well, so I don't have to remix anymore. I'll try and keep this as in focus as I can. It just means I have to keep my hand in one very specific position. Um, I'll do my best for you guys. It's quite hard to get the focus right on this piece. So I was saying earlier because it's uh, it's not flat. <laughs> it's the opposite of flat. Not flat. This is a little bit watery. I need it to be. See, this is it's complex. When you're doing this kind of detail work, you want to be able to get a good finish in a single swipe. Because the more swipes you do, the messier it's going to be. However, then you run into the trouble that in order to do that, the paint has to be quite thick. I wonder if it's too thick. So I'm trying to find the exact balance I need. So mine is way too thick. What well, shamed? Oh good. Good. Paint away. <laughs> I'm glad to hear I motivated you using shame. Shame is the ultimate motivational tool. Of course, we all know that. Oh my god, the same mistake again. Uh, for anyone who's watching that wasn't watching the earlier stream, I use a lot of gloss medium in my paint, which retards the uh, drying time, which is why I have time to fix mistakes like that with just some water, which you kind of need when you're doing this kind of stuff, because if any of these stripes are wrong, it affects the whole thing. very, very negatively. You just need some grapes, tell me. Well, speaking of eating, I'm probably going to get a nice pizza in a bit. Ace Face, I hate you, man. Even though I decided to do this, I, I'm blaming you for the agony. <laughs> it's, 
it's going well. And I'll get you the uh, lower half. So the lower half is finished, stripe-wise. Let me try and get it into focus. Um, the lower half is finished, bar a glaze and a tiny spot highlight, but the stripes are lovely. Um, and you can kind of like see them together at this distance here. So this side of the car pace is on its way to being finished. It's still got quite a while to go though. But you can see it's getting there. Like the whole lower half has the, the contrasting now that it should have. It's going to have a, one more glaze and a little bit more work on the stripes, but that's it. Um, the head is the same kind of level. It's nearly finished. Um, so, and I've done a lot more work on the skin as well. Um, since you were last in the chat, I think. So the skin is actually done, the grey. And it's nice. Um, so getting there, getting there, getting there, getting there, slowly. But this is the this is the part that takes the longest. These stripes on the car base just take so long. Because they have to be really, really correct. They have to be the right angle, they have to be the right thickness. So it's just very um painstaking. But once that's done, she's nearly finished. Oh, that's exactly what I was aiming for. I was hoping that, like, by the time this is done, it'll fit the army, but it's also, like, going to be eye-catching, which was the idea. That's great to hear. Also, um, this is a new webcam that I'm trying out, and it's just such better quality. So, maybe let's give a bit of a nicer example using it. Has the colour right? Last webcam just could not get this colour right, but this does. Oh, Dice Arts, chicken chow mein. Oh, I think I might get takeaway tonight actually as well. It's very hard to justify cooking after doing this. So just like, oh, I've worked. Come food now. Oh, uh, Ace Face, um, Chris's Heldrake arrived. It's on its way back to me now. So, looking forward to starting on that. Really happy that this is at the stage it's at because um, it doesn't actually need that much more time now. So, I should be able to get her back to you in time for your. Uh, Event. You want to use No, oh, Dice um, Ace Face is running a, a, a big wargaming event in July. That sounds awesome. It's in England. I think you're in England, are you? If you're interested. That you're actually American and I'm wrong. <laughs> Sorry if you are. 
I'm terrible at remembering people's nationalities unless they have like Unless they have a, a really obvious name that helps you remember it. <laughs> that'd be really cool if you ended up going from this chat, that'd be awesome. I remember the DACA flag. Oh, he showed me his Italian. At first I thought I was just getting the Irish flag confused, but it wasn't, it was actually showing me his Italian. And I'd like get my IP, or I'd um, restart the router, hoping that like it would pick up that I was Irish and it would change it to the Irish flag. And then after like three days, it would go back to being Italian. <laughs> it was like, what? It's a bit, so actually I, I miss DACA in a lot of ways, but the reason I don't post there anymore isn't because like I don't like the form or any reason like that. It's because I have so little time to do updates and to chat and stuff that what I do is I have, I don't know if you guys noticed, but whenever I make a post on Facebook, I always put like loads of weird hashtags. Those hashtags are li linked up to a uh, website called IFTTT, which stands for if this, then that. And so you can set up recipes on it. If I post on Facebook using this hashtag, then go to Tumblr and post it there and put these hashtags on it in this blog. And I have that set up so when I um, post on Facebook, I can immediately post without doing anything to Tumblr with the right hashtags, to Twitter with the right hashtags. It all comes from my Facebook. So my the amount of time I spend managing... Uh, managing my updates is down by like 90% it's brilliant and I the problem is and I do it all from my phone I do everything from my phone and DACA just is a it's not phone responsive at all it's really really hard to use and b it's not on there's no way of using IFTTT to post on it so it's just like this amazing community that I don't have time to post on sucks hiding from Gitz. Gitz is awesome. Gitz is like the nicest person in the world. I'd love him to come have a chat on Facebook. Follow Facebook or something. Problem is though, a lot of people don't use Facebook for enough. A lot of people don't use it. So I think there's a, probably a lot of people who don't see any of my updates because they don't use Facebook and that's why I have it so that it, it tweets and Tumblr as well. And I have a lot of uh, followers on Tumblr who don't use Facebook at all, so that's how they kind of keep in touch. But yeah, I wish there was just a way of, if I could auto post my updates to DACA, oh my god, it'd be brilliant. Because I could just drop in and like say hello and answer like, have a chat and, and leave and I wouldn't have to spend all the time uploading images and editing them and doing them post by post or oh, it's just it's a little bit out of date with how much quickly I can use other social media.
That's all. Oh yeah, no, I've talked to him. Uh, I mean, I talked to him. It's because he was worried because I wasn't responding. Like I said, he's the nicest person in the world. And because uh, I wasn't posting on, on DACA, he was worried about me. Because he's a sweetheart. I wonder, like, I wonder if DACA is going to move forward with a bit more of a mobile friendly site. I think it would really increase the amount of users they have since so many people now just like do all of that kind of thing from mobile. I think they'd get, um, they'd get a lot more people just using the form. Yeah, his Mantis Warriors thread, holy shit. Like, that guy has real passion, real passion. And I mean, it's, he's the only person I've seen who's working on them. They're beautiful. And he was always like, oh, I'm not that skilled. I'm not that skilled. And then he posts these beautiful models. They're like, yeah, it's not being silly. Yeah, he's brilliant with the airbrush, really good. He was airbrushing, I don't think he, I think he got his airbrush after I did, and I remember being like, dude, you're really good. And he can't, he can't accept compliments. He's all like, no, 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 no. Once again, going back to him being a sweetie. Oh, these stripes are a bit thick. I was distracted. Oh, they should be okay. I'll glaze them down. <laughs> Hi. Oh, my stripes. <laughs> yeah, it's it's this, this is entirely your fault. Of course. It's this part is just so tough. It really is. I have to get the stripes kind of bending so that they can fit the chimney's shape. But trying to get them to you know, have the exact right thickness and curve is just really hard. So they're they're always a little bit messier than the stripes elsewhere. So I'm gonna have to go around them with some uh, some glaze just to fix them up. <laughs> Shoulder the blame.
So I only have a couple more of the um, chimney kind of areas to go. I'm just tidying up the edges of the plates because they look fine from above, but then you see from the side, you're like, oh no, messy. So get that out of the way. Yeah, I mean, DACA is, you know, it's a free forum. I, I can't expect them to be, like, jumping on mobile optimization. But, um... I, I think they would be shocked at how much of a difference it would make. The company I work for is a website specialist. And, um... One of the most important aspects of the, the, the CMS we offer is that we're fully mobile optimized. And it's really important. Um, and every year that passes, it's becoming more important. You're you're losing more and more um, recurring visitors by having a site that isn't mobile responsive. Like it wasn't so bad in the early two thousand tens, but with smartphones literally taking over as people's computers. Um, it's becoming really important. Like, so imagine, right? So I, like I said, I do all of my work from my phone. So think about it. So to post to Tumblr, um, Twitter and Facebook, I can do it from one app with a single upload. A single upload goes to all three. To post to DACA, I've got to open my web browser, go to DACA, log in, try and find the uploader on the tiny screen, upload. You know, it's just... Yeah, transitioning it is the problem. I think they would have to, if they want to go mobile with DACA, they'd have to dump the framework they have and start from scratch I think it would actually be easier I don't even know if DACA is using like what framework it's using I don't know if it's custom or if they're using like a basic template from somewhere but it's I think actually getting that mobile optimized would be a nightmare Yeah, I think it is custom. I think it's built from scratch. When you figure like how the uh, gallery works, that's not part of a pre-build. And there's the problem, like that, Jesus, DACA hasn't changed at all since I first posted on it, I think, which was in 2010, 2008, something ridiculous. It hasn't changed at all. So whatever 
you know, you know, they're still using the exact same build. And um, th I really doubt it's going to be possible to mobile optimize it without just starting from scratch. The effort it would take. No, there's no way to set up a custom route in IFTT because it's got um, it's integrated with basically all the options it has. It has an actual integration with. So when you set up a, a recipe, you set up like you log in once through IFTT to what you're gonna be sending the information to, and it gives IFTT permission to post there. So it can't do a, a custom route because it has to um it has to have that integration. So a custom form like Docker it has no way of accessing. I know I was I was looking for I was looking for um a way around it because like I, I want to I love the um fan base on Docker. I love how Everyone's so lovely, but it's just so difficult to fucking post on if you're unless you're doing it solely for DACA on a desktop. Yeah, if it was possible to um if it was possible for it to gain access to your DACA account, then you'd be fine because you could just use the uh, URLs from the Facebook upload. I mean, it wouldn't be as good, but it, it would work. And just make a, a post using the um, the image link, but you can't at all, which is the problem. Okay, I'd say that carapace is about done. I need to tidy it up. But other than that, I think we're okay now. Let me just... Quickly. Yeah, <laughs> I do indeed, I suppose. Got, um, oh god, hang on. Shoulders cracking. Oh, I should really stretch before I start painting. Stop being silly. Um, at about eight, I'm gonna be starting on the Heldrake. Uh, getting her primed. And I'll get in the, um, I'll get on her base coat down. Um, so, uh, I'm not going to be forgetting about this tyrant, don't worry. So much work already. She's, I mean, she's so close to being finished now. Um, so don't worry, I'll have her done for you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get started on the Heldrake tonight because he wants the Heldrake in time for the, uh, your tournament? Or your event, sorry. 
so I have to get going nice and quickly on that. Um, but I, I'm sure I'll be able to get this done as well. In time for that if you want. Just on. <laughs> I know it looks strange, but when the vents, when you get, the, make sure that the stripes follow up onto the vents, it looks so much better. Um, because if they just stop at the top, it doesn't look right. Whereas now it looks like it really is stripy. Yeah, I could do that all right um, with the Google Docs, but I use Google Docs almost entirely for work. And um, I'm not sure. I don't want to give anything access to it, basically. Even though I trust IFTTT completely. It would be more of a legal issue, you know. Like, it's not that I think anything would happen. It's more just that I would never want to link anything to anywhere where um, sensitive data is stored. I mean, I could do it with my own Google Apps, I suppose. Um, I'd have to set one up, though. Oh, no, you're not playing. Oh, that's sickening. Yeah, I suppose you have to uh, put all your effort in to uh, managing it. <laughs> Plus, it gives you more time to like actually enjoy the event and walk around and see what everyone's up to. Which is nice. <laughs> he did leave it a bit late, actually, didn't he? He was like, uh, do you think you'd be able to get these done for the date? And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> I'll do what I can. But I think I will. Because, uh, luckily, the models he's sending are the Heldrick, to be honest, which has a bit more detailing. I mean, they're, 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 it's 40k stuff. It's all pretty, um, you know, it's all pretty just one, one color, as the main. Um, so it won't take a huge amount of time, even for a nice finish. Like this, this is totally different because it's got the organic element. It's uh, it takes so much longer. I always find it much quicker to paint. Uh, armor and stuff than I would paint in anything that's meant to look organic. Maybe it's just me. It looks nice, I think. Stripes are a bit messier than I would like them to be, if I'm honest. 
but it's just so hard with the curves to get them straight. Um, once I've glazed them down, they should look okay. Bit of a pain in the bum. Okay, so he has. Actually, I'm gonna stick him on a cork. Much easier to hold this way. Nope. <gasps> <laughs> okay. I can hold it like this now so you can dry anyway. <laughs> oh. So much drama today. I did. Summoned it. Thanks. Oh wow, <laughs> so I just realised, um, see the little stripes all along the back of the car uh, claws there? This side just isn't done at all. <laughs> uh. It's fine, it's fine, everything's gonna be okay. I got this. Definitely need some more coffee.
seconds a little bit better. <laughs> okay, done. Go away. Yeah, I know. Oh, I still can't believe I did that. I was so dumb. Do definitely need some more coffee now. Oh, Ace Face, it makes a massive difference. Hang on, I think this is out of focus. So it makes an absolutely massive difference. Um, like, I made a mistake even with this by uh, leaving the legs on. I shouldn't have even glued the legs on. Just, you know, do all, do all the assembly. Do the assembly that doesn't matter, that isn't going to block any... Uh, Paint, but everything else, leave it. Because, like, especially with this, I thought that you'd want to magnetize it. That was the, the, the reason where I was like, no, not assembling anything that he may want to be able to detach. To be honest, the best way of painting this would be uh, when it attached to a cork. Best way of painting is getting someone else to do it. Very true. Very true. I'm actually going to put this on the cork if I can find the. There it is. Actually, you know what, guys? I'm in desperate need of a proper break now. I think I've been painting for five hours. So I might go have a proper sit down and let my eyes defocus. Um, so if I keep going, because I, I need to 
continue on tonight as opposed to normally I'd stop at like eight. But I need to kind of keep going tonight. So I'm I'm gonna actually I'm gonna stop the stream for now. Um but I'll try and get some update photos from, from her from um for tonight. Uh thank you so much for joining in. Uh, there's a couple of people who've been here literally for like five hours, so um wow, thank you. Um I'm gonna have a break and stretch out a bit. And, uh, and then I'll continue on tonight and I'll get an update on her. So thanks again, guys. And enjoy your night because I'll probably won't stream again for the rest of the night. So have a nice day and enjoy your evening.